Hey everybody, welcome back to James Plays Gianna Sisters Twisted Dreams. I've made a mistake. <laughs> um, this is not the simple little platformer I thought it was going to be. It's gotten a bit more difficult and it keeps throwing some new mechanics out there. And, yeah. So, the decision's been made on how I'm going to continue playing through this, and that is going to be, I need to familiarize myself with these levels. Otherwise, they are going to be long, and filled with deaths, and I'm going to be missing things left and right. So, yeah, I'm going to be going in a bit more prepared from now on. And let's uh, stop talking and start playing. And head on into the spooky dungeon. It's very spooky. Oh no. So while we don't seem to be getting new environments beyond what we've already seen, we are getting lots of new mechanics, like keys. There's a block in our way, and it requires a certain number of keys to unlock it. So we're getting an example of that right now by collecting five keys in a row. And there we are. Get our little bone bear again. Now the thing about this level is it branches off into different paths. And we keep coming back to like the center area once we collect keys. Another thing that they're throwing at us are these ghosts. Right now there's a very docile ghost that's not going to hurt us, but there is a ghost that will chase us and hurt us. So we swap and their rolls reverse. We can't do anything to hurt them directly, but we do end up with these little light barriers, and if they come into contact with them, Bye-bye, ghost. Just keep on moving and shaking. And, you know, just might as well kill another ghost. So, yeah. Uh, we've had a couple mechanics shown to us before, like the wall climbing and those directional things that launch you. And now we've been shown keys and ghosts, and now this little guy I will come back to in a moment. Let me just go ahead and take a detour. And blam. Okay. So this is a little alien dude, and when you switch to Punk Gianna, it turns into a block. And when you step on that block, spikes come out. What you're supposed to do is, while it's a little weird, creepy alien dude, you knock it out, and now the block is upside down, and it'll launch you into the air instead of impaling you on spikes. So lots of things. This is a game that's still throwing plenty of ideas out there and keeping things fresh, keeping you on your toes. I just really was not expecting this much from this game. Go back, get a little more. There we are. Almost jumped on the bad part. There we are. Come on through. Get that guy to run into the water. We don't have to deal with him anymore. And hopefully I'm not missing anything. I've played through this level a couple of times, but with these levels being so big and so much stuff to collect, you know, your brain can only handle so much information. So worst comes to worst, we do those little second playthroughs. Up. Now the spike dudes are flying. And I can 
Oh, I always have trouble with the, getting this timing perfect. played through this level a few times, and each time my deaths were very high. There's just some areas in this level and the next one that just continue to give me a great deal of difficulty. But hopefully, uh, I mean, things are looking good for me now. Got another key. This is the area where I tend to lose a life or two. But we did it. Not too bad. And we haven't seen much of the ghosts yet. Oh! Yeah, I have to go back up and get the couple of gems I missed. But anyway, uh, we haven't seen much of the ghosts, but they do come into play more and more the further we get into the level. I always have a real hard time with the timing here, because you have to swap, swap over while dashing. And there's not a big window there. But we did it. Thankfully, you can go back up and collect what you missed. All five keys head into the new area. So consider me really impressed with this game. They've got, I mean, I'd say we're a little under halfway into the game, and they are throwing lots of things at us. There's the ghost again. Just see what I want to do. Okay. Got a little carousel, Ferris wheel of death here. And we just got to make sure that we know which ghosts will hurt us if we touch them, depending on which form we are in. So, so far, so good. Just get on up here. Get past that little guy. He's actually kind of cute. He's got like a little kitty mouth and everything. Yeah. Anyway, head on down here. And we're still missing one more key. Ignore that. That's our way back up once we finish down here. Yep. Lure this guy a little further away. There we are. Ooh, and we got a friend to go with. Alright. Have our light up here. That'll take care of any ghosts that are on our ass. And it's just fun to kill them anyway, because you don't get many opportunities. Take advantage. Enjoy. Have fun. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Always seems like there's something thematic that... Link's games that I play. Like, uh, I was going back through some of my old LPs, just trying to part reminisce and part um, just kind of remember what it is that I did, what I want to do going forward. And I played like three games in a row where characters were named Goro. You know, and now uh, I played Ghostmaster. And now here's a level with a bunch of spooky ghosts. It's, it's a bit more of a stretch, I know, but still. Uh, no problems there. Beautiful. So far, I am uh, I seem to be handling my the difficulties I had with a bit more grace now that I'm recording. You may, in fact get very few deaths in this mission. Now, these guys just kind of circle in a pattern. 
you just got to ignore the car driving past and keep going. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I try. I tr Oh, there's a death for you, everybody. Yay. It's very hard to find opportunities to record when it's nice and quiet. And just when you think you do... Okay, can I please... Oh, man. <sighs> These are stupid deaths. These are really stupid. But we should still be okay in uh, staying under the threshold for getting the five five star rating. All right, there we are. We'll do it that way. Got a gate that will open up for us. Let's head on through here. And this is a bit of a tricky spot. You have the ghosts that are moving in a pattern and they really like to get in your way with these platforms moving up and down so you just have to be very careful and uh, thankfully I do have a shield mm, shields now gone why every time every time I say oh I'm doing pretty good I'm not doing good oh I'm not missing anything I just missed something when I, whenever I say that, it's like, oh, I got a shield. Oh, now I don't have a shield no more. <sighs> I jinx myself so much. It's amazing. Anyway. <laughs> so we've got a couple of deaths under our belt. A couple of little mishaps. But we are... going to jinx myself again. <laughs> we are still doing pretty good. Get that checkpoint, and then pop these up, and do a little dashing, comboing to get up here to our secret gem. And back down we go. All right. Skip that ghost. Skip th I, that was supposed. To, I was supposed to skip that ghost. I wasn't supposed to get killed by it. Just one of those things you forget about. See, I did it again. You know, I'm just, I'm so... Let's stay like this. Use the uh, more precision movements of Kyujiana. There we are. In the home stretch now. And we've got a little swimmy portion. Gotta squeeze ourselves past those and get up here. And we are now taught that leaves on the side of walls and structures also act the same way as the bookshelves. So that's important to note. Get another gem. And then we just float on down to victory. All gems accounted for. Let's see. Four deaths. That's actually the lowest that I've ever gotten on this level. So, yay me. So, there we are. Nice and simple and sweet. And practice makes perfect, I guess. So, next time, we will be hitting up Owl Shriek Ravine. I'll see you guys next time, okay? Hopefully no cars will go by. But... I can't control the universe yet.